Hey guys, and welcome back to another day with T. As I said, when Joey gets back home from Toronto, which he just did, and we're like Christ. little ghosts, <laughs> um, I said he would probably bring me some goodies, and he did not disappoint. However, he did run into a little bit of trouble at the airport. A little bit, yeah. So I um, got little bags of shrimp that go into these little breathable bags. Might even look like this once filled with water and you know six to twelve shrimp in there with a little bit of mesh, maybe some moss or something for them to hold on to. And I had five of these. One, two, three, four, five of these. And I know countless people that bring uh, fish on the plane and I'm only flying nationally, not internationally. Like so for example, if you're in the States and you need a flight, incredibly common for people to fly with fish. And I know lots of people that do it in Canada. I get to the airport and they're like, you can only have 100 milliliters of liquid. 100 milliliters of liquid is maybe three fingers worth. And I've got all these shrimp and there's like, the only thing you can do is either ship them to yourself or put them all in one bag. But you gotta use our bag. So it's wet because they were all in here. So I was like, well, my flight leaves in 25 minutes. So shipping them is gonna be out of the question. Um, no more flights for me to get home for another day or two. Um, but just based on the airline I was with. So I was like, well, I guess we're gonna try to get them all into this bag, which I did. And once I was uh, through security, I went to the bathroom and I was able to put them all into one bag. I would have put them into individual bags, but I wasn't able to sort them back into the ways they were supposed to go because the flight was leaving. Um, they were calling my name, I had to go. So the best I could do was I double bagged them and put them all in here. Now, it don't look like there's a lot of shrimp in there, but there's about 40 in there. Hopefully, because when I was emptying them out and I was just on the floor in security, like on the floor with one of those bins, you know, the place where they're screaming, no laptops, take your sweaters off. I told you no laptops. That place, I'm on security and there's like eight agents around me and I'm, I'm, I'm dumping them in water into the bag and then like trying to hand uh, the shrimp into them. And you know what shrimp do? like little springy grasshoppers. They're jumping all over the place and I'm trying to get them all in. Hopefully we did well. The plan now is simple. Um, there's only four types of shrimp here. Maris brought us up some tank water from downstairs and we're going to put all of them into this and then hand sort them back into these. The unfortunate part is I can't tell what's what I don't see colors the way you guys do. I am colorblind. It doesn't mean I see black and white. It means I get confused with the colors and some of them all look the same to me. You done rolling around, Luke? I don't, you could probably hear Luke in the background rolling around on the couch like crazy. In a fight. He, was, he was glad to be home from his drive to the airport and back. Yeah, see, when you empty the, sh the bag out, sometimes there'll be a shrimp in there. And I was moving so fast that I might not have gotten them all. So they ship them with these little nets so they're not banging around in the bags and they have something to hold on to. There's like little fish nets. But they should be okay. Put one in each little cup. This does not look like the amount of shrimp that I started with. It's actually not so bad. Shrimp are pretty hardy little, little guys. Yeah, so we got or pumpkin orange blood reds or super reds. We got crystal reds and we also got snowballs. One, two, three, four, five. I see five uh, pumpkins. One, I know I got six of the pumpkins, 12 of the snowballs, and at least 12 of each of the others. These look good. Three, four, five, six. I have six of the, the orange. There's six orange, at least 13 of the reds, and at least 12 of the crystal reds. I think, I, I think everybody's here. I think they're all here, Tamara. I just don't know about the snowballs. I don't know how many there is. I can't count them. They're, they're like kind of clear. All right, let's start with um, the pumpkin, the pumpkin orange. These are two orange runs, right? Yep. Those are yours. And they're all healthy. They're all bumping around. Three of your pumpkin oranges. They're cute. Yeah, I was worried about acclimation and stuff, but there's there's no chance of doing that. We're just gonna have to get them. Orange, pumpkin orange just in time for Halloween. Oh yeah. So there's six pumpkin oranges and there's I think 12 snowballs or white 
yeah, white snowballs, and then 12 of the other types. I could have got you 12 of the oranges, but I waited too long. I was like, oh, I'll just come back tomorrow, and they'll be cheaper, and there'll be more. No, there was not. They were the same price, and there was less of everything. I'm an idiot. I should have just got them. They'll color up in your tank. They look pretty bright to me. The crystal reds are tank raised and tank bred. Water similar to ours, so our water should be fine for them. I've always avoided them because they need um, softer water or whatever. Yeah, six. I can't believe they survived. Not only survived, but I got them all. I'm telling you, you know those, um, those gray containers that they make you put everything in? I was on the floor by a garbage pail and water's going everywhere and it's splashing and I put the bag of shrimp over, then it tipped over <laughs> onto the ground. My, my camera and everything had already gone through security. So I'm like trying to keep an eye on my wallet and they're like, don't worry, we'll put it aside. And shrimps, oh man. And then I'm, I'm moving things and every once in a while I'd see a shrimp on my hand. I was like, what? I was like, I don't even know how many I've got. Turns out I got them all. That's incredible. Okay, what should I get next? The red ones, eh? Because they are easy to see. What kind's that? Do you think that's a red? Yeah, I think so. That's well, something. Yeah, it looks red. Not as red as these guys. So the reds came from Planted Aquaria, and so did the crystals. Um, and then the other guys all came from the Expo. And I think it was... Uh, shoot, fins and tails and sc tails and scales. Some, I think, anyways. And man, did they have a lot of shrimp and fish when I got there. I was like, oh yeah, I'll just get them later. Man, I should have known better. I know I got 12. Six. And these are just like cherry shrimp. Yeah. So they're going to breed a lot, so you can have some eventually. Because these ones were for me, right? Mm -hmm. There's a little one. How many's in there? Nine. This ten. Yeah, see when they get bigger, that's when they get their red. How many is this? Ten. Ooh. Get back in there. That's what was happening live. And they're all they're all sitting around me and hey the the the, the good part was they were like why are these shrimp so small? They were expecting like like market shrimp that I feed the the, uh, the fish outside. And um, I was like, no, these are for aquariums, fish tanks. They're like, that is so cool. What do they need? I was like, kind of based next to nothing, really. Um, they're the perfect like t type of critter to have in a, like a nano sized tank. Obviously you don't want this many, but um, the women really loved them. Oh, they're so cute and blah, blah, blah. I was like, I was like, hell yeah, they're cute. Um, and they're incredibly fun to keep and rewarding. And yeah. I don't see any that I are... I love them. Yeah, they're awesome. Okay, I think this is 13. So that's 13. See them? So these are the ones I got for me. They're reds. They're really big, too. Definitely a good size. I can't see if any are buried. But it certainly won't take time. Or much at all anyway and these are your pumpkin oranges which are gonna get really cool in time a little bit more time I guess I think you only get nine I'm missing three it would be exactly three missing but those like are clear so I can understand how like these are really cool One. Oh. hanging on to the net he said he's never letting go One. the crystal reds are my favorite there's two in here See how cool they are? Yeah. And this doesn't deter me from ever doing it again. I just know better this time. And I think I just got the wrong people at the wrong time. Because I confirmed this a bunch of times that I was going to be able to. But if I ever do this again, which I will, um, I, I will put them all in one bag. One tiny little bag. And then um, when I get past security, I'll go into the bathroom with some tank water and do this. Just have to take all the equipment. The snowballs are so uh, active. Was that seven? Because I counted 12 of these earlier. There's 10 in here. And there's two left. Yeah, so 12. These don't look that great right now, 
They're white snowballs, so their backs get red. Maybe I got some of the wrong ones in the wrong tanks, but... Because these are, like, see-through. They're hard to see, so maybe I did mess up. Because, like, look, you could barely see them on the net. So when I was transferring, maybe um, a couple got left in the bag or something, but... I mean, I think this is highly success, big success, big success, to get not, um, only missing three out of 12, 24, 36, so, and all of them are living. Yeah, these ones are really hard to pick up on the camera in a clear cup. Well, you should see what it was like on the floor <laughs> of security with like eight security guards and like the, they shut the line down and the lines backing up and backing up and then the Karen started in the cans like, oh, what's going on? I'm just like, leave me alone. I got to save my little shrimps. I'm doing my best, guys. And I'm like, what time is it? What time is it? I need a time check. <laughs> like, you got time. You'll be fine. And my, I can hear my, my flights boarding in the background. Stop the plane. <laughs> Yeah. I can see it in little eyes. It's a good start. Um, the bud, buddy at a, a planted Aquarius said, yeah, 12 is a good number for any of the size of those tanks. But he said for your size is 15 gallons. He's like, you should probably start with like 20 to 40. I was like, well, we're not going to get that many. I was like, because he, he brought out the first bag and it was one of those bags that you go, go shoo, shoo, like a big bag. I was like, I don't know about this. I was like, can we, what can we go in one of these? My, they seem like they all start breeding right away in my tanks from the ones I have so far. <laughs> well, uh, white and red ones, he said that you have uh, next to no chance of breeding them. He said he's only seen it twice in home aquariums. I was like, really? Well, hopefully you can do it. But they can't go in with um, the Neo species. You could... All of these are the same species as cherry shrimp. These are like cherry shrimp, except they're just like really red. Yeah, well Even see yeah. anything in them. It's perfect. Okay, so right now I have three empty, the last three tanks on this wall for shrimp, which is exactly what I need because I have one, two, three new colors. I'm just gonna put some moss in each of the tanks from the chunk. I really need to clean up the cords. I think I will do the orange and the one next to the yellows, then the crystals, and then the snowballs on the end. So this is our six pumpkin orange. I will give them a little piece of wood. Just giving them this wood. Temporarily. So that's for them. Cute. And then we will do the crystals in this next one here. And then our final one. And I'm just gonna do a little water change to warm up this water because I didn't have the heater plugged on. So now for the final ones we're going to be adding, they're the snowball ones, which are the white or almost clear ones. Alright guys, so now we have a different color of shrimp in every single one of these 15 gallons on this wall. I'm going to be getting Joey to help me sort out all my cords because they're a giant mess right now. Look at those, aren't they beautiful? So that is one species of shrimp for each of the tanks along this wall. And if you are looking forward to seeing me scape the last three tanks of the new three colors we just got, here, here, and here. Make sure you subscribe if you're not yet already so that you don't miss it because we've turned the yellow shrimp tank into a beautiful tank. We've turned the blue dream shrimp into a beautiful tank. 
and of course the original red cherry shrimp tank that we all love. I added lots of floating plants to the top of all of these tanks as well since we're doing unfiltered tanks. These ones even have lots of floating plants. The pumpkin orange seem to be doing quite well so far. I'm so excited to set these all up and have just a perfect row of tanks like that. Crystals seem to be doing fine. And our snowballs. As well. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment and subscribe if you're not yet already. Thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.